I was initially apprehensive about making this video because I assumed that everyone considers them pests. But according to analytics, people are searching for this. So why not share my advice on the subject? First off, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell. That way you'll be able to find my videos easier in the future and be eligible for upcoming gear giveaways. When the channel hits, 10,000 subs, which should be by the end of the summer. I will definitely be celebrating with the gear giveaway, so be in your best interest to subscribe right now. In this video, I'm going to show you how to catch tons of rock bass, as well as larger slabs, which you might otherwise miss, and also demonstrate some of those tactics. If you'd like to skip directly to the demonstration, I'll include a banner somewhere on the screen to make that a little bit easier for you. So let's get started. Before we begin, what bait catches you the most rock bass? Let me know below in the comments. Rock bass aren't picky. If you've caught them before, you probably already know this. It's honestly more of a challenge to find them than to catch them. And that's not even all that challenging. Also, if you're farther south than Tennessee or farther west than Minnesota, chances are you won't be finding these fish. But then again, I did catch some in western Washington state a couple years ago, so you never know. If your state is completely devoid of rock bass, the cards at the top right corner of the screen might be a little better suited for you. Rock bass are typically found in cooler water, and in my experience are most concentrated in small rivers and creeks. They congregate in large groups around log jams, weeds, and rock pilings. Honestly, all you need is a simple split shot sinker bait hook rig with some night crawlers. That'll do the job adequately, but if you want to avoid catching other panfish, don't like live bait, or want to specifically target slab rock bass, some excellent artificial alternatives exist. A simple curly tail grub on a jig head works great in most situations. However, if you'd like to step it up a notch, there are a few options you should consider. First, the Ned Rig is absolutely killer for rock bass. Being that it was created with vertical fishing in mind, it's a great option for fishing piers and jetties with extensive rock pilings, especially here in the Great Lakes where that stuff is really common. Z-Man has all you need to make this work. A Shroom Z Ned Jig Head coupled with the TRD Hog Z is a rock bass catching machine. Side note, the Shroom Z also has a weedless option, which I have found to be very useful when fishing brush piles and weed beds. Really reduces hangups and the hookup ratio is very good. It literally clean out a spot in a matter of minutes. Another perk of fishing the Ned Rig is that it increases your chances of catching a slab. Unless you're fishing in some sort of nuclear waste dump site, it's unlikely that you'll encounter a sunfish capable of inhaling the typical Ned Rig. They might nip on the back end, but that's just about it. A lot of times those slab rock bass are buried within schools of smaller rock bass. And on top of that, if you're using live bait, you'll likely have to contend with sunfish that might snatch up that bait first. This is where the Ned Rig shines because unlike the traditional Nightcrawler rig, it filters out the majority of those pesky sunfish and drastically increases the likelihood that a larger rock bass will eat it. Additionally, small spinners work exceptionally well for rock bass. My favorites are the Johnson Beetle Spin and the Quarter Ounce Mini King from Strike King. Due to their design, both are fairly resistant to snags and are an appropriate size for catching rock bass. I prefer to fish these in shallow water or when casting parallel to the bank along drop-offs. Being that rock bass are schooling fish, the latter creates a more substantial window for them to strike, as opposed to fishing perpendicular in relation to drop-offs. Here's a few clips from a recent trip where I used both the Ned Rig and spinners to catch rock bass. Both are totally applicable here, and I thought it would be a great place to demonstrate each of my preferred methods.
Wow, that is a hoss rock bass right there. These are some real chunks that used to catch them this big here. That's that's a tank. It really is. I'm gonna put a mech. There he goes. Surprised there's no pike that have tried grabbing this yet. Here we go. Ha. Gosh, these things are vicious. And another one. On the little black spinner bait. on the net rig. <clears throat> See if I can get a carp on this too. I know people have done it in the past. So let's see if it'll hit this, especially since they're spawning right now, supposedly. Wow. Huh, a bluegill on the net rig. It's a good bluegill too. Look at that on the net rig. These net rigs, they catch everything. Here we go. Really fat rock bass.
thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to go hit that like button. By doing so, you'll tell both me and the YouTube algorithms that this video was worth watching.